the language is very carefully controlled. There are things that you cannot say and things that you can't say. And uh, 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 we've had a recent example of this, uh, that uh, the, the language is constantly changing in order to prevent new things being said. Uh, this is the case of Germaine Greer, who, who came to speak in one of our universities. Now, she was uh, one of the original radical feminists who believed that, um, uh, that men really are oppressive, that, that uh, women as a sex have lived under the thumb of, uh, of the other sex, the, the, um, uh, the unfair sex, which is mine, and, uh, and that she has made her life out of propagandizing this and showing the extent to which uh, the, the, ma the male is assumed as the dominant cultural figure in, in our literature and painting and music and so on. And, and, and of course she has cast an awful lot of light on our literary tradition in this way. I mean she's very much respected uh, of course as a, an outspoken uh, literary figure. But she giving a, 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 a university lecture at some point on this um, touched on the transgender issue uh, and, and, and didn't realize that, that, that she should be using the word gender and not the word sex. Uh, and she said that uh, men are of one sex and women of another sex and the fact that a man thinks that he's a woman doesn't mean he's of the, of the female sex. Um, she, uh, has she uh, um, used her, the correct language and said that you know, the fact that he thinks he's of the uh, female gender means that he is of the female gender, that would have been all right. But she fell off the, uh, the, um, the edge of the, uh, 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 of the permitted <coughs> forms of expression and used the word sex properly uh, and, of course, exposed what was uh, lurking behind the word gender, namely the desire to make everything a matter of choice, to spread freedom into all the areas where freedom is impossible. Uh, and so uh, she ex uh, unwittingly exposed the lie behind a, a new uh, version of the uh, sexual war. And uh, uh, as a result, she became the la latest target for uh, uh, censorship. She, uh, no platform can be, can be offered to her because she's uh, um, shown uh, this disrespect for the possibility of transgender identity. She is guilty of transphobia. Um, and that, that, that word is now in the vocabulary uh, and, and um, <coughs> you, you might, uh, we'll have to see just what its subsequent history will be. But anyway, uh, uh, one thing that has been achieved by that particular movement, the, fe the radical feminist movement uh, in uh, our um, universities is in effect to uh, get rid of the word sex. Because sex refers to a a biological fact which we can't deny um, it interferes with the the freedom and the aspirations of those people who want to deny it it's created a new victim class the class of the people who can't stand the truth about biology uh, human biology so it has been replaced by the word gender and now you will see on all official forms you know the word sex doesn't appear uh, in my passport I'm of male gender uh, insofar as I've ever thought about what gender I am, I have thought, well, you know, it would be nice to be fem more feminine than I am. Um, uh, you know, that, that, that does seem like something that you can choose, but uh, as for my sex, no.